So, finally made it out to uh, Fort Myers. This is uh, Weigert's Nursery out in Fort Myers, North Fort Myers. Um, I'm impressed. I mean, I've seen nurseries and this is kick-ass um, so far I've seen. Um, I'll probably do a little more report. I'm gonna go shopping really quick because uh, they can ship to California. Um, some things that we can't get uh, and pre bonsai stock, which uh, I'll be looking for. But yeah, this is, if you have time, I think it's uh, worth your effort to come out. Uh, I'm gonna talk to Eric and Andrea, they're owners of this property. Um, seven acres, it's a lot. I mean, this is a lot. That's uh, pretty good gas. Um, so I'll talk to you in a bit. Uh, these are giant ball cypress. I mean, giant, giant, or pond cypress, one or the other, but they're just ginormous. Um, yeah. Hairy scale. Like Harris kind of trees. I'm not kidding you. This is like fields and fields of pre bonsai stuff. Mostly tropicals, subtropicals. Um, so, where I live, I live in a 9 point, was it, 9, 9B to 10A zone, which I get like maybe a couple days of frost, eight days of frost in a year. Um, Eric, Andrea, the owners, uh, I'm talking to Eric, um, uh, we're very similar uh, in climate wise, so pretty much everything that does well here does well at home, so I'm not too afraid. Um, only thing I can't ship back is, uh, he says uh, it's, uh, whatchamacallit, um, glaze are massive, oh geez, these are nice massive olives, um, yeah, junipers couldn't ship back. Okay. So this is Eric and Andrea, Andrea, correct? Yes. And how do you yep. pronounce your nursery correct? Weigert's? Weigert's. Weigert's, yes. okay. Yep. And this is in North... North Fort Myers. Fort Myers. See, this is their... Six acres, a beautiful bonsai nursery. I want one. Look at these guys. Is this good? Wait, 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 wait. I got a better idea. So again, we're at a Weigert's Nursery, uh, North by Fort Myers. This is uh, Eric's personal collection. Very awesome. Um, I wish I had a collection this large. Very beautiful, all, almost all subtropical trees. Some beautiful. Uh, Olives. I don't know what that is. Can't see the leaves. Looks like a buttonwood of some sort. Uh, I know it's a uh, ficus. But that's a buttonwood. Bald cypress. So these are really big trees. These are like four man trees, easily. Oh, that's an awesome looking tree. I don't know what it is, but it's great. Shaving bush. Look at that. I mean, some of these trees you would not think would be a nursery, uh, a bonsai tree, but you got them. Uh, really interesting. I had to show you a little later about um, these uh, air roots. Um, so what he does with it. Really worth your time if you can make it. Look at the sacrificial branch. It goes all the way up. That's a sacrificial branch. Look at that. You can do it. That's how you're thinking that. Trunk. I think he has a slight reverse taper. You can see it right there. It's a smart way to uh, get that going. Very cool. Wish I had more time, but it's about a it's about a three hour hour and a half. So yeah, about three hours trip from the Orlando area. So if you're coming from the Orlando area, you might want to uh, get some time. I'll check out this buttonwood. Really cool, very cool. Beautiful cascade, water jasmine, silverberry. Um, I have no idea what that is. Oh, that's a very cool looking tree, very unusual. I want to. What you can do with the crepe myrtle. Brazilian rain tree, you know what? I think I might want to pick one up one day. Now I'm, now I'm interested. To, you know, you have to see what people can do with these species and kind of build off that. Uh, 
Look at that. Look at the ball cypress. Very cool. So yeah, uh, I would totally do this again. If, if you're in the area and you're in Florida and you got a day to blow um, and you're a bonsai enthusi enthusiast like I am, this is a place to be. Um, so I did pick up a uh, Singapore Holly um, being shipped to California. Um, I haven't really seen one in California and you'll see one soon. It's a forest uh, collected um, said was in the ground in a mobile park area as a, as a, a hedge for about 30 years. So it's mine now and let's see what I could do with it. It kind of looks like a uh, white flowering um, crepe myrtle almost. Well anyways, time to go. Thanks a lot guys, you're great.